Well, hello everybody. This is an impromptu video. I just scored four junk jewelry bags, jewelry bags, junk jewelry, same thing, um, today at Goodwill. And they actually had like three or four more, but they're $25 each. So I got four. That was about a hundred bucks. Um, I did get some two shirts, three actually. Um, the shirts are three twenty-five, I believe. This one has new tags, and it's called Liquid by Sioni. Sioni, there, and it's this crushed velvet. It's a size small. It's got a cute little sheer panel there. Uh, it's called Blue Silver. That's good to know. So I got that. Hey, Stephanie, best friend in your thread. Um, they had a bunch of Banana Republic clothes. One of them smelled like cigarettes, I thought. Um, but they were new with tags. Um, this one is not. So if it has new with tags, they put a marker dot, which that's actually the print. I thought it was a marker dot. It's part of the fabric. Um... And so I bought this for $3.25. I figured if I don't sell it, I might wear it once or twice first and then sell it. Hi, Veronica. Yeah, long time no see. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, ladies. Thank you. And then this was cute to wear. I just figured I'd get some clothes for myself. And again, if I wear them once or twice, then I'll just resell it in a garage sale or something like that. I'll make half my money back for sure. Um, Banana Republic on this one. But again, the ones with the new tags, they had uh, markered it. So I didn't want those because I feel like they're harder to resell on the internet. Who wants to buy a brand new shirt with a marker, you know, on it? Um, and luckily I found two bags. I believe the bags were $3 each. Maybe we'll find our receipt. I don't know. But this was just a, um, it's not very expensive, the Carlos by Carlos Santana, but it's in excellent condition. It's actually really cute. Um, it's got that patent leather there, but it opens up somewhere, right? By the way. Interior is pretty clean, like it's never been used. So I went ahead and got this one. Hell, it'd be cute to even keep that for myself. Now this one I did get. Hi Jennifer, welcome. Um, I got it for thread up because it was only three dollars also. So if there was a marker dot, then you times the price by two, so it'd have been like six fifty or something. So this one is Fossil, and it's in really good use condition. Let me see. No, luckily, I don't know, maybe a little bit of cigarette smoke. I might have to, like, let it air out for a little bit. Anywho, let's get into the fun. It has been a while since I got any jewelry bags before in a long time. Can't even talk. So I have a box I'm going to empty out the junk into. I feel like a hoarder right now because I have stuff everywhere, but I am having a garage sale tomorrow. So <clears throat> what's in here? Oh, the bags opened up, I bet. So I have two jewelry bags that she didn't even tape closed yet. I'm just going to rip these open. Yeah, that would be these. I can't wait to go through those. And then there's two here that are sealed. They double bagged it. Nice. Okay. I'm really excited to go through. I see a sterling silver cactus earring from 1986. Is it R R L for Ralph Lauren? I don't know. Sterling, that's cool. 
Yay, we got sterling in the first bag I'm going to open. Um, so I got to get these done because, again, I'm having a garage sale tomorrow. So I would really like to throw up these junk jewelry pieces. I see a mood ring. I used to love a mood ring in the 90s. They need to bring those back, but like with sterling silver so they don't tarnish, right? So cute. Look. So right there. Oh says sterling and I didn't even see it when I bought it and then where's that mood ring right there I'm gonna put it on for y'all and we'll see what kind of mood I'm in I don't know all right I got my exacto knife prop this bad boy open did I say crack this bad boy open or open this bad boy <clears throat> yeah, my X-Acto knife is getting dull, isn't it? I'm not really using it correctly. I'm aware. Okay. I'm so excited. It's been like forever, months since we've done this. Um, this first piece, what do you call it? I can't even remember ever the word that you call these rocks. Anyone in the chat? Oh, you notice all of us ladies in Texas find sterling? Must be common around here. I don't know. Interesting, Jennifer. So this is just silver toned. It's going to go in the garage sale. Do I need to arch my camera down a little? Yeah. This is kind of cute. Oh, it's a dangle drop necklace. So I am going to try to go through this fast. My littlest one is in his room playing. Um, so I don't doubt that he'll come and interrupt, but... It's getting closer to lunch, but I'll try to go as long as I can on here. Uh, this says $9.99, but hand wrote maybe a estate sale or a garage sale. I don't know. Silver tone. It's a nice necklace. They're not broke. This is kind of cool, though, right? Kind of interesting. boho -y. Is it crooked? No, it's just me. That's an interesting piece, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, we got a, I don't know, is that a shark tooth? Who, I don't even know what kind of tooth that is. Who's to say? It feels like some clay beads and shell, tiny little shell beads. This is interesting. What the heck is this? It's like a cheerleader or a cowbell. What in the world is that? Oh, I know what I was going to say. Um, so this bracelet I'm wearing here, I love these because my iguana scratches me. Um, and we've been trying to go outside more in an outdoor enclosure. So I have a couple more scratches lately because he gets scared outside. So excuse those. But these... Um, bracelets here I found in a jewelry bag for the first time ever. Never had heard of it. Chan Lu. And it's C-H-A-N and then the last name L-U-U. -U. I actually found my first clothing piece at Goodwill like yesterday, I believe. Um, so they make clothing and jewelry, but I am in love with these wrap bracelets. I buy them used on Poshmark because they are expensive. Um, just a gold tone chain. What are you up to, Veronica? Cute beach necklace. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. I'm sure we've got some beautiful pieces in here, Veronica. And they'll be at my garage sale tomorrow if you want to come by since you're local. Or did you move? Are you still out of town? Can't remember. This is um, a fancy non-marked clip-on vintage-like earring. It's huge. 
<clears throat> now these are cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. I never seen these white ones. I always see the brown, chocolate brown color. These are kind of interesting with the white. Very Jamaican or eth ethical, ethnical. I don't know the words. Um, a bull country. Sorry. Um, chain. We got some glass beads and some fake pearls, faux pearls. Yeah. Is that, it's not hematite. It's, um, what is that word? You never seen them that color either? Um, another clip-on earring. Ew, I hate when I have to touch those backings. Where's my trash can? Because we're going to need it. I always find some plastic or trash in this stuff. So, pretty heavy earring. Christmas brooch, non-marked. And I will say that sometimes I'll go through this jewelry live and... After I'm sorting it out or um, moving it, I'll see an engraving that I missed online. So sometimes it does happen. One clip on earring so far. A quartz faded glory Walmart watch. Another clip on earring with a glass red stone. This says Carol Lee, the brand right there. And this says Patton number 156 something. Um, the pearl is scratched, so it's a faux pearl. Cute little earring. Cheap little bracelet. Sorry, I am streaming on StreamYard.com. It links to YouTube. So the screen isn't as wide as I'd like it to see what y'all are seeing. So hopefully we're in center. I don't know. Um, there's the match to that unmarked earring. Silver tone earring dangle. There's the match to that one earring. Let me clip those together. Find it anywhere. right there the whole time and I'm digging making things harder so clip those together so they'll stay oh where's my mood ring in the sterling silver is it at the bottom so this looks like a pearl earring yeah, something like that um scarf clip Right? Or scarf tie or something, maybe? <clears throat> uh, cheap bracelet. Again, I'm no professional at this. Just going by my knowledge, looking for engravings or any kind of markings. Um, good, heavy quality jewelry. Like, this is a really nice, heavy, maybe a bangle bracelet. Could be anything, but it's very big. Um, but it's nice and heavy. <clears throat> um, this is just some silver toned jewelry here. Um, this is a plastic stone hanging from there. So we got some seed bead tangled up. We won't mess with that. Cute little vintage looking earring. Silver toned heart with wings. Bracelet. So uh, gold tone. And some trash. Broken. Uh, earring with missing stones. So also, whatever doesn't sell in the garage sale, I will lock this all up in a bundle, like one big box. How light. Thank you, Jennifer. I cannot remember that word for the life of me when I'm trying to describe that stuff. I get how light, hematite. That's my short-term, long-term memory I have. Like, I cannot remember it for the life of me. Maybe I'll get it down one day. Just a silver tone copper earring. 
These are plastic beads. They're pretty cool. Vintage amber color. They definitely feel like plastic and you can see the seam down the side where they uh, put it together. So it's definitely not amber in my opinion. This is, um, could be probably plastic. Pretty little rose um, pendant maybe. Some vintage earrings. I have the cutest little bag of vintage earrings with like some 80s or 90s bold red, oh, sorry, like geo, like kind of patterns. I need to put them on eBay. I just don't feel like they'll get a lot, but they're super cute. And I'm going to put them on my eBay one day. Silver tone earring. Uh, this is broken. Plastic beads. Um, copper inlaid. Crisscross something. Uh, bangle. Plastic. They have a bunch of this jewelry still. A bunch of it, all new with tags. They're all priced at $14.99. They are just junk to me. Junk jewelry. We've got a shell earring. Oh, that's cool. Gray. It's a rock dog. Some kind of clay. Whatever. Um, that's cute too. This must have came from the same lady. You love vintage? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Where did I see Glenn? Oh, Swamp Picker. Hey, hello. Welcome. Oh, this is cute. It's a perfume bottle necklace. Wait, does it open? I think it does. Mm -hmm. I think it's a fake bottle, you guys. Looks like a Barbie doll bottle is what it reminds me of. Yeah. Hmm. It is super cool. It's pretty tarnished, silver toned, the chain and stuff. Look at this cute little bottle. It won't open. It's pretty cool. Um. <clears throat> Just a dangle chandelier. I don't know what that, that's not chandelier, but a chunky earring. Okay, just a little black ball. I don't see the other one. Yeah, that's a broken bracelet, I bet. Hey, Junk Trader, Anissa. Hello, it's good to see everybody. Thanks for joining me. I miss going live, but. Man, I'm so overwhelmed right now with just junk. Broken chain. Silver toned. <coughs> Sorry, I can't clear my throat. <clears throat> Let's get that sterling silver and my mood ring. I need to put the mood ring on. Get that out of there. And that broken. Like a, I don't know if those are glass, but they might be rocks, gemstone rocks. This big old bracelet out of the way. And that might sell at the garage sale. Pretty nice. Earring bracelets. Um, this is cool. It's a leather studded beaded rhinestone. Genuine, really good quality. Genuine leather is what I meant to say. So that'll go up in the garage bill for sure. Some broken jewelry. These are heavy beads. They are, oh, there's like that, what is it? Hematite, not howlite beads maybe? Or don't quote me on that. Meh. Got an Avon pen. 
I always like these. They're cool. It reminds me of like going to Jamaica or something. Somewhere foreign. <laughs> Somewhere foreign. Somewhere exotic. Oh, this is cool too. It's a little purse and it looks like it wants to open and it does. I bet you could put ugh, the smell of old silver. Um, it's a purse. And it opens. You can literally keep your pills or whatever you want in there. It is filigree. Filigree. That's pretty cool. None of the rhinestones are missing either. I do have a PayPal link if anyone wants to purchase any of this jewelry in this haul today. Shipping would be $3 flat for you. Um, and then we would just negotiate the price, whatever um, the item is. So this is, um, what do you call it? The lady. It's, um, I know the word. I'm like thinking ahead of myself. Um, so it is a hair clip. It's a, what's the lady? I know the word. It's just not coming out. Um... It's plastic. Yeah, it's just a hair clip. So you're listening and cleaning cameo. Thank you, Jennifer. You're awesome. And it's got filigree, the holes. I learned that from all my YouTube watchers as well, helping me and doing research as well. So this watch is nice and it's not broke, but I'm not seeing a, a brand. Stainless steel. It's really nice. Looks like it needs a battery. Really? Okay, there's some copper showing there, but none of the diamonds are missing. Boop. Just needs a new. Um, we got a cross with Jesus on it. We got a bumblebee with Avon. I think I've seen this lots of times. We got, I don't know, is that a mistletoe or is that a um, poinsettia? <laughs> I think that's a poinsettia. Just making stuff up over here. Camello, yeah, cameo, cameo. Definitely, Veronica, thank you. Um, Now, this is cool. It's the alpaca. Um, it's pro probably fake, like they do... Um, Stamp silver as real. Um, this is so it's not sticking, so maybe it is sterling, but it doesn't look like it's sterling. It looks like I don't know the next over to sterling. Um, this is super cool. It would be really awesome if we could find the match to this in one of my four jewelry bags. So it is stamped, and don't look at yeah, my nasty nails. I just painted over them because they were chipped. On the very top there, you can see alpaca. And I got my armpits in there too. We're gonna set that aside because it's the most valuable piece that I've found out of here so far, other than we do got sterling silver down there somewhere. Um, this is the Maria of Ligori. Alphonse, whatever that is. Okay, we got a, an Avon um, watch. Couldn't even say the damn name. Japan, metal, Brazil, Brazil, stainless steel too. All right, we got a money clip and it looks, oh cool, it's Sterling 925. I was gonna say it looks like this was definitely, well, most of it's handmade, but definitely handmade. I'm thinking of a welder. It looks like some kind of welder put it together. Um, hopefully it's, is it Chinese or something? But there we have Sterling 925 and some kind of maker's mark. Looks like a little man is standing in the middle of it. That's cool, money clip. So that goes with the most valuable pile there. Another watch. It's quartz. It's junk. We got a lizard. I love me some lizards. 
Unfortunately, it's a really cheap metal, but I'm going to see if we can find the match to that because it's uber cute. Where art thou? Hmm, okay. Here we go. Junk jewelry here. Um, Non-marked earrings. I always check the... Um, the vintage earrings because like Givenchy makes some, St. John makes some, um, so never pass up these old vintage type clip-on earrings. And you never know, they might be stamped 14 karat cold, right? Artesian, I need to use that word a lot more um, in my clothing and my jewelry. I forget about that word too. So this is a gemstone rock. I actually will keep this with my gemstones that Madi sent me in the mail. I have a bunch there. Um, I don't know the word. The fool's gold. It's got a name too. Watch Jennifer bust out with it, right? Um, it looks like silver chunks in there. Like gold, but silver. Uh, that's pretty cool. And you are supposed to wash your gemstones, uh, like the ones that you hold, or like your jewelry, to cleanse them, if you didn't know. I watch a bunch of that crazy stuff. Gold tone earring. <clears throat> and you also have to pull these backs off because the writing is usually even on the stick or it's around it hiding. And I don't see nothing. I have found like 14 karat or sterling James Avery hoop earrings. So I always make sure to inspect the hoop earrings even for any kind of maker's mark. My feet are going numb. How long have we been live? 27 minutes. <clears throat> I have some, some guys at the Goodwill store. Pyrite. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, and they're like, can you not make your videos shorter? I'm like, I wish I could. I'm sorry. My videos are like two hours long when I go live, right? Um, and I tell them, well, some people like the long videos and some people don't. So can't make everybody happy, can we now? It's like he just wants to learn all my tips and tricks and in five minutes, and then it's over, right? Um, this is cool. It's a vintage heart. Some of these will ring whenever you shake them, but not this one, unfortunately. Um, but it is cute. I will throw it in the garage sale first. Made in China. This is just a purse. Thing. I'll keep it in there for weight on my jewelry boxes. A match to an earring earlier. Um, wow, this actually looks like real turquoise. <clears throat> Y'all tell me, does it look like turquoise to you? See how it's got the, the ugly brown parts? Like they usually don't go into that much detail um, on the, the turquoises, if they're, if they're fake, they don't have this great detailing and design in it. Pretty sure. I don't know. Um, some of these beads look sterling, but then the other half doesn't. Let's see. It's not sticking. That's good. Pyrite. Pyrite, yes. So pyrite is a gemstone. I'm just curious. Um, it's also known as fool's go gold. It's iron sulfide pyrite. And I'm going to put the word gemstone. Pyrite gemstone. Um... Ah, uh, yeah, it gives a superficial resemblance to gold, hence the well-known. Okay.
<laughs> it's used in chemistry. Um, oh, the pyrite used to be polished by Native Americans in early times and, and used as mirrors. Hmm, interesting. I was looking to see um, the gemstone side of it, what its properties were. It occurs in large crystals. It's hardly used nowadays. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. I know it's got a uh, pyrite, which is gold in color, is a natural birthstone of those born in the magical months of, <laughs> that's funny because it's me, um, in the month of midsummer, July 22nd to August 21st. I'm a Leo, so. That's not, okay, okay. The pyrite crystal is a must-have piece for your office or workspace because it is the ultimate symbol of wealth and good luck. That's what I was looking for. But who knew it's stating that pyrite, which is gold in color, is the natural birthstone of those born. My birthstone is peridot. Um, so, yeah. Sorry to um, stop there, but I really like learning about gemstones. Um, this is really cool. It's an earring made out of like some kind of, I don't know, clay or something like that. It's like a little home or something from another country. Um, there's a word for this. My spouse, I got a shirt at Goodwill and all the houses were stacked on, um, they're stacked on like hills and stuff, kind of look like that. And it's called something. He has worn that shirt out too. I've worn it a lot. Uh, this is kind of creepy and old. It's got some kind of mummy looking uh, Egypt <laughs> something. I do not know what this is. Oh, what does junk trader say here? Um, tell them it's like sex. You've got to warm the oven. Oh, in reference to your long videos. Yeah, exactly. Men need to get it through their thick head. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Another one of those heavy bracelets and a cheap one. That's funny, Anissa. Hard to tell. Okay, we've got the match to that other earring. I don't want to be matching earrings in here, but I did find it right here. So, so it was weird. Like I went to the Goodwill today, and y'all know they um, they bring out the jewelry bags at the same time, but then they also separate like the best pieces and they lay them out on the trays. And people, when I used to go, would like, you know, like try to grab it all. Um, when I looked through all the trays, there really wasn't anything valuable. And I was like, that's weird. There's nothing good out here, um, which is rare. Because usually there was always sterling silver, gemstones, um, all kinds of good stuff sometimes. But there's another Carol Lee earring. Might look that up and see if it's worth anything since it's got a brand. We'll do that after the video. Um, so I'm hoping we'll get some good sterling silver out of these junk jewelry bags. Oh, that's cute. It's a doll. It's a poodle. A poodle earring. It says um, 925, which is sterling. And then the brand E plus F. E plus F. I have no idea who that maker is. Anybody? Look at that cute poodle. Carol Lee is good. It's a, it's okay. Um, it's a Shriner symbol. The uh, Egyptian thing I said. Okay, cool. Oh, look. We got the poodle necklace and the other poodle earring. Yay! And then we have a sterling... Well, it's not exactly sterling, but it does have some cute little gemstones on it that are not plastic. Okay, so we got the matching poodle. It says Italy. 
can't even F A S F A S on one side and then nine two five Italy. So this is awesome. Um, I would have to say the poodle earrings and the poodle, they'll definitely bring half my money back. Maybe on these jewelry bags, we'll have to do comps on them. See if eBay has ever sold this before, <clears throat> but that should be good. Um, plus if we find the matching of the other two sterling, yeah, we got a money clip sterling. Um, I don't think anybody answered if they thought this was real turquoise or not, but kind of seems like it to me. I still haven't learned how to do like a test to see if what's real turquoise or not. I didn't see anything. Boy, howdy, that would be nice if this was a gold chain, but I don't think so. Oh, cool. There's a brand. It is. It's uh, gold filled. Um, it says 12 karat gold fill and then the brand is Amco. I knew it kind of looked gold. Um, I do not know what those stones are or these bubbles. So it is a choker pretty much. I'm trying not to flash all my armpits. Need to get one of those laser hair removals, right? One day. They're so expensive right now. Um, some cheap bangles, cheap chains. Uh, we got a engraved or a marking S A L. Does anybody know S A L? I've seen it before. But I don't know who it is. S-A-L on the back of a clip-on earring. We'll put that aside. Now these are cool. They almost remind me of like a, a sand dollar on the back. They're really heavy. Unfortunately, there's no maker's mark, which is a huge fail. Oh, wow. Look, y'all. I've never seen these. Maybe y'all have, but it's plastic on one side and padded on the other side. It's literally a cushion for the clip-on earrings. Never in my life have I seen one made that good of quality. Maybe they're kind of new. And those are definitely not like a plastic stone in the middle. I don't know. I might set those aside, but they don't, they don't have a marking. Really good quality made and heavy. Okie dokie. Some crazy looking vintage earring, like real artsy. What is that? It's like made out of recycled or clay or not really clay. It's more of like plastic. That is weird. Okie dokie. We got Geo, G I, and then a big O, Geo earring. And then we got a B, B L something. I don't know. Oh, God. The earring that came off crusty. We got these two have a maker's mark. I'm going to set those over there. Uh, no marking, but dang, it's newer. I think I have the match to that also. Um, no maker's mark. Shell of pearls. Um, maybe enamel painted or something, earring swirl. Okay, we got tons of earrings here. Let's see. Cool. This one says Tishatelli or Fishatelli. <clears throat> Made in the USA. Pishatelli is looks like Pisces, but Pisatellus? Pisatelio? <laughs> 
P-I-S-C-I-T-E-L-L-O. I'll have to Google that later. Um, interesting. Man. Uh, let's talk. That's cute. What does that say? A new? Oh, it's an Avon. Okay. It's an Avon thing. Let's talk. I'm obsessed with charms. I love little charm stuff like that. It's so cute. Um, that's John Fury, I'm sure. Very cool. We got like a, I don't know, lion or something. I don't know what that is. Some junk jewelry earrings, but clip-on and non-clip-on. Plastic earrings. Here's the other match to the Sal, S-A-L. That's over there. Okay. All right, I'm just going to start pulling out the nicer pieces and showing them to y'all. Um... Camco, so it's on a fake chain, but it's got a nice little pendant with those cute little turquoise um, things. Um, we got a oh Roman earring with the green emerald stone. It's okay. Let's see, Geo. Oh, sorry guys. Probably right by the speaker. We have the match to the geo. Okay, let's go a little quicker here. So we have a Narmi cross um, stainless steel watch. Let me show y'all while I dump this out. Oh, it's a ring. Stretchy ring. That's cute, but it's plastic. Some really dirty faux pearls. Chain keychain. Something zipper keychain is what I meant. I'll sell that for a dollar at my garage sale. It's a cute little USA belt buckle. That's nice. I'll probably make a little bit of money off of this. Really pretty. Okay, we got another zip keychain. What is this? Like for your necklace? That would really suck to get your hair tied up in that. Oh, Salas Swarov Swarovski. I cannot say that name. Swarovski. Sal? Does it? But it didn't have any Swarovskis on it, did it? I don't remember which one it was. Was it this one or that one? I'll put the other shell one in there. Geo. Oh, yeah. Saul Swarovski. Okay. So that would be these clown earrings. Here. With the stamp. No flaws. So the pearls aren't scratched up, but in one spot, it's tiny. I don't know if y'all can... Oh, sorry. You looked it up? Cool. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Gross. Some of these earrings can be pretty gross. So we have a statement, bib. Um, what else do you call this? You call it a bib, statement, um, caged, I'm sure, choker. It's actually pretty cool. It's pretty nice. 
Well, check these out, you guys. Too bad I suck at put the, putting these on. Look how pretty those are. And it looks like they might all be in there. Not like we care. We're doing jewelry right now. Right now. It's a plastic. It's clear. It's pretty cool. I like how you can see through it. Um, this is pretty nice quality made. I would definitely consider listing this. Maybe if it doesn't sell on the garage sale first. It's a brooch. Real good quality metal. Um, <laughs> there's a charm plastic, really cheaply made, but super cool. Vintage clip on earring. Hopefully I didn't miss any comments. If I did, I apologize, but um, let's see, I think I'm caught up. Oh, very cool. We got a dragon, Mother of Dragons. It has an engraving on it. It's like an S symbol or a money symbol and then the copyright symbol. Ooh, I like it. It's cool. Is that pewter or something? Very cool. Let's see. Can't see it that far away, can you? I like it. I like it a lot. Okie dokie. These look real gold, but they are not. Talk about fool's gold. Earring. It's not sterling. Okie dokie. We got a, um, a moose that plays hockey. That's cute. A brooch. No missing stones. No makers mark. I didn't want to be on camera today, but I was going to have y'all stare at the table all day, but I figure that does get a little boring. So, um, brown rhinestones in there. They look glass. Really nice. Uh, these are some of those real. I don't know what you call them, freshwater pearls or whatnot, but they are bumpy and they look real. Not sure the real terminology for those pearls. Geneva plastic watch, rubber watch, I meant. Uh, this one, it feels super duper cheaply made. However, all the stones are still in here. You looking at my armpits? They're pretty gross. Sorry. Next time I'll be sure to. Looks like I need a shave. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta let it grow out sometimes, you guys. Um, let's see. I actually am going to today, so just embarrassed myself. Here's that other doggy um, earring. It's pretty cool, really cheaply made, but look how cute. Look at that around the, the collar and the red nose. Haha, <laughs> I did my first live. I didn't know how you do it. I'm very camera shy. Oh, I didn't get a notification. I'll have to double check to make sure I'm subbed to your channel. What does this say? Win nine millimeter lugger? This looks like, oh, I don't know what this is. What does that mean? W I N nine millimeter lugger. Uh, this is definitely a sterling earring with a freshwater pearl or some sort of pearl. Um, this also says the Win 9mm Lugger. So we will have to look that up. I love when they type something on or stamp something so that I can look it up and learn what it is. 1967 girl pin. 
I've got a skeleton skull on a chain. I don't I don't know what the point of that is, other than for a Halloween party. Um a gla blown glass earring. No maker's mark. Oh, there's the other one. Kind of artsy. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my goodness, these are so tiny and dainty. Look at them. But they're missing a stone. Man, I did the worst ever job on my fingernails. Like, I don't care. I'm going to take it off soon. Um, A little ring. Another ring here. I might just wear it. Oh no, we're going to wear the mood ring. That's what I want. Okay, right now... It's like a blue green, and we'll see if it changes colors here in a couple of minutes. Uh, there's a real gem. Oh, two gemstones hanging from a bow. Love the gemstones. They're nice, good quality, and heavy. I don't know what they're called, but they are cool. A Christmas tree by the company Best, and it's missing some of the little balls. Reef. Earrings, enamel. Got the match there. Cheap earrings. Oh, I got the other gold earring to that one. Or brown, whatever. There's another ring, and look at that. We are turning like a blue and a pink. Hold on. Wow, that's crazy. It's like a pink purple. I'm usually like a blue. Well, you guys can't see it. Okay, in the light, it changes different colors. That's pretty freaking wicked, man. I would really like a sterling silver mood ring. It's kind of cool. How it changes colors. Oh wow, it's not pink anymore. Maybe I got excited. <laughs> hey all nine millimeter lugger could be gun related. That's what I thought. Nine milliliter lugger. That's what I was thinking. Like gun related? I don't know. Alright, we got some cheap rings. Wait, hold on. This says, I think it says best, like that brooch. It's definitely not real sterling, because I can tell. It's got some gemstone maybe in it, inlaid. Okay, we got another ring with engraving. Getta? I don't know, BMS something. Um, seems cheaper, but we'll look it up later. Oh, the earring got put on backwards, the backing. That's kind of cool. Vintage-y. You got an angel. Um, Gemis, Gemis, a watch. Got another ring, stretchy ring. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, it's a diamond with rhinestones. That's pretty cool. I might wear that to work. That's pretty cool. I like it. Oh, look at that. We got our other bullhead skull earring. Check it out from Alpaca. I don't care that it's Alpaca. It's just that the skull head is like really cool and popular. Yay, Fluffy. Let's see if the other one says alpaca or anything else. Um, no. So it's not sticking to the magnet. But I really can't confirm that these are sterling. So. Let me put that back over here. 
Okay, let's see if we find anything good in here. We need to start on the next bag. A vintage earring. It's got some patent number. I don't ever know what to do with the patents, so numbers. Maybe I could look them up, but I don't know how. Um, our 1986 R.L. Sterling Cactus Lady. Isn't she cute? She's the fruit head lady. What's that called? Let me show you the back. It says Sterling. R.L. Sterling, 1986. So cute. I know the lady's got a word. You just type in the fruit head lady and her name pops up. Um, that's super cool. However, I don't see her other body. There's a crown. This one's kind of got, yeah, it's missing diamonds. And a big earring. Oh gosh, this earring is so bad. I need some hand sanitizer. Hold on guys, let's do a little wash break real quick. I don't want to get Corona. Oh, awful. <clears throat> Get a drink. I like my shirt? I got it at Goodwill. I like it a lot. What'd you talk about in your first live, Veronica? And I didn't see. Did you move back to Lubbock or not? All right, there's that heart earring that I dropped earlier. Okay, so you have to be really careful. This is that sterling silver earring. I always find little gold or silver earrings in the very bottom. I said always, not always, but this one says Roman. And it's a pendant that opens in the back, clips on like an earring, but it's a pendant for your necklace. Emerald. It's mm -hmm. a tiny little copper charm. Look at that. You can't make out what's in there, but there's something in there. Engraving. I don't know if Veronica's still in here or not. I got this little tiny hair right there. Okay, there's the other little Roman earring. I'm not seeing anything in here. Oh, I lied. OMG. What's this? This looks like a real gold. Yeah, this is definitely, oh my gosh, it hurts my eyes to look at the little print. I'm going to have to get, after the video, I'm going to have to um, look at this with the light. This is definitely some real gold right here. But it's just one little earring, which won't weigh out too very much. Um, however, it's still a really good find. That's cute. Oh wow, it's got some engraving too on the back. Little tiny, um, I don't know what religious this is, but they're holding a baby. Like two men on the kneeling down and like the king is holding a baby or the queen. And it's got some tiny little engravings we're going to have to look at later. Uh, Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. I did a makeup tutorial. Oh, it was live on Facebook. 
Well, I'm selling Avon. Yes, I moved back um, full time in college. Oh, okay. You are back in Lubbock. That's okay. Oh, look, we found the other nine milliliter wind lugger earring. So we got an earring and necklace set. The other swirl earring. Okay, that's a wrap for this bag. We're going to go ahead and open another one. There's an apple. Dun, da, 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 dun, da, da, da. Ooh, these are my favorite earrings. But this one's bigger. Love these. I'm just being careful here. Yeah, because I think I have this earring set aside right here. It's a tiny one somewhere. All right, we're going to pour all that into the junction box. And just throw this away. Mm -hmm. Looks like a vintage, never worn maybe, wood bead necklace and earring set. Okay. This thing needs to be tightened. So you did your makeup with Avon tutorial, right? What's everybody doing for the 4th of July? Staying at home? We're going to pop some fireworks. This is Garmin. Yeah, it just looks like a cheaper watch, but it's actually kind of nicer. I mean, I'll look it up. It's not really scratched that bad, but it looks kind of nice. There. Um, yeah, just a toolkit for that same watch, I guess. I'll keep it over there. All right, so dangle earring, vintage silver earring. Oh, wow, this is cool. Um, I don't see any markings, but it looks like sterling to me, and it's not sticking, but it looks like a bell, but with star, moon. And nothing on the inside. No markings, though. Interesting. I'll have to look at it later. This one's resembling silver also, but it probably is not. I don't know. Looks like it. Uh, this one is marked silver. And it looks just like the other ones. So I'm thinking those might be silver, even though they're not marked. But this one is marked 925. My back. And this one is definitely made in Mexico and it's stamped 925. I don't see the match to that one yet. I'm going to shoot you guys down here and we'll pour out some of this. That's the match. Cheaper earring. I don't know what this stuff is. Get some of this junk out of the way. Yeah, baby. We got the... Oh, it's kind of dented in a little. Pop it out. That's cool. We got our matching earrings. Yay. And that's one stamped 925. Did that say sterling? No, Mexico. Okay. So gold tone, cheaper, tarnished necklace. Las Vegas. Take me to the beach. These are kind of like the earrings I have that I need to list. A bunch of cool vintage ones. But I'll never get to it. Sorry, my lighting's 
kind of off there. Another Las Vegas keychain. This one's really cute. It's heavy. That might sell at the garage sale tomorrow. We got Batman and a really cool hair clip made in Korea. That's really pretty. Um, dun -dun -dun. Trying to get the light on it. Avon earring. So this is really good quality made. Choker. I'll set this one aside. It's a cheaper watch. Shell necklace with seed beads. Ooh, we got a glass bead earring. I love it. It's vintage. Sterling earring. A few charming. Charming Charlie. See this little angel. Okay, it's got an engraving on the side and it is 925. We'll pull that out. What is going on here? Chunky necklace. Pretty cool. Hi, Patsy Crafty, Craft, Craftsies, Patricia. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for joining. This is glass. And it's definitely not sterling silver. However, it is heavy. Very, very heavy. And these earrings do not. I don't think it goes. I'll set that one aside. Me, 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 me. This looks sterling. I love cubes, the iridescent cubes, glass cubes. Patsy is good, wonderful. I can't wait for this July 4th to be over with. Okay, we have a 925 just on the clasp on the connectors. I don't think the chain is 925, but yeah, it's sticking. It could be that, I don't think it could be on the inside. It's definitely not. Maybe it'll sell in the garage sale. Going through my Goodwill jewelry, yes. Uh, these are cheaper earrings, but they're a set. We'll just leave them together. <clears throat> Shell earring. We had the match to that earlier. Oh no, is it? Ew! So first we had a skeleton skull in the pendant just like this. And now we got some creepy evil eye or something. I don't know. Uh, looks like there's a letter L in there. Is that an L or an E? Creepy. Anybody knows what that is, please leave us a comment below of this video. Um, this is cool, but it is plastic and real wood. Hopefully this will sell in my garage sale. If not, it will be available in this junk jewelry box um, probably this coming week. So whatever doesn't sell, it's going to be listed immediately in a junk jewelry bag on eBay. That's trash. Dun, dun, dun. That's not sterling. Uh, Crystals Avenue, lead compliant, not for children 21 and under. Too bad this isn't one I would wear, but we'll sell it. It's a wrap, snake, studded, new tags, bracelet. 
Crystal Avenue. Broke watch. This is 925SU. Just a cheaper sterling silver. I don't need that. Some more of those. What are those called? I know the name. Make sure to test for Bakelite. I know. I forget about it. You do know you can test Bakelite with um, baking soda, right? I don't know what this is. Yeah, with 409 spray or baking soda. Yeah, I use baking soda for sure. Um, yeah. A lot of my jewelry I don't test for Bakelite. Probably should, but... Usually when I see a good quality piece that I think is Bakelite, yes, I'll test it. But I just feel like all these pieces seem cheaper end that I'm throwing in here. But of course, I'm no pro. I could be missing um, stuff. But when I have a red flag that I think it's Bakelite, I will test it. So you guys, I have no idea what this is. Um, wow. Ooh. It's got like other needles or points are in here. I don't want to put this with the junk jewelry box because if I, uh, maybe it is for jewelry. I don't know. Maybe I will leave it in there. I don't know. It's not very heavy. I'll leave it in there because I don't know what the heck it is. We got a Christmas watch. Uh, with Santa and his reindeers. What's Bakelite? Um, so it's like a, it looks like plastic, but it's not. It's, um, she can probably tell you more about it. Doesn't, doesn't it have like formaldehyde in it or something? The women were wearing like a jewelry that has, was made with like a formaldehyde. Like this could be Bakelite, but you'd have to test it. Like rub, take a Q-tip and use baking soda. And if the baking soda on the Q-tip turns like a, a yellow color. I've done a video, Veronica, on Bakelite and using baking soda. So if you're interested, go watch my video because it's really um, a short video and it's very helpful. Um, so yeah, that's a college thing, I guess. Um, so it looks like a plastic, usually clear. Um, you have bracelets, there are earrings, there are necklaces. Um, but usually it looks like a really old vintage um, plastic. Hypoallergenic, this one says on the tag. That's rare, and this is like a vintage piece, but... Look at that charm. Hypoallergenic. Hold on. I think I might have a piece right here that looks like fake light. I probably won't be able to find it, but I have a bunch of jewelry right here. And I know I have a bracelet listed. Oh, here it is. Okay. So this kind of looks like fake light, but it's not. So anytime you see like this really ugly browns, orange, green, they make it in red. Um, and no, it's not always clear actually. Um, oh yeah, if you rub it like for a, a really good friction, you can smell the, um, the smell of it. So I thought this one was, but it didn't test for it. I don't know what this is, but I have it on my eBay, I believe. I just think it's kind of cool. So, um, yeah, I'm glad I found that piece really quick because I wouldn't have kept digging. Cheaper yellow and silver bracelet. So all this jewelry will be like a dollar, two dollars, fifty cents at my garage sale. Again, it'll go in a junk jewelry bag afterwards after we try to get a couple dollars for it. I gotta make my $25 back somehow. Oh, that's cute. Two skulls. That's kinda cool. Okay, I'm gonna dump out some of the bags so y'all can see. Sometimes sol solid color, no seams or lines. Yes, yeah, so you don't see the lines where they plastic made it together like plastic. 
Um, this is stamped 925. It's got more than likely a gemstone in it. And then we have a, looks like a freshwater pearl. The sterling doesn't look real. Okay, let's pull this up. Woo, it is fancy. That's pretty, pretty old too. Look at the tag, really worn off. Looks like amber, yeah. I did put the word amber in my eBay listing, but people still don't wanna buy that bracelet. Yeah, Veronica, you're welcome. Just, um, I try to, I want to people to know that you can use baking soda because before we've all figured all that out, uh, women were using like a very toxic cream. So a lot of YouTube videos say to buy this cream. I can't even think of the name of it because I've never bought it. I don't want no part of no toxic cream. Um, so instead I just use um, baking soda. And here's a really nice old vintage cameo that's loose in here. Uh, it's Coro, the brand Coro. And it does open like so. Uh, that one will go over here. I just saw a crown. Oh, we got another cameo. That's cute. Do do it. That's really pretty. Garage shell. Shell looking earring. I'm gonna point y'all down. Yes, I well I don't have my PayPal link in this video, but I do in my other ones, so I'll have to go back and add it to this one. But yeah, so I've had a couple people buy from me on YouTube, pay me through PayPal. Um, this is a tiny little angel earring. It's cute. Some clips. Clips. Oh, you're interested in the cameo like this one? Okay. You can message me um, on here if you want to negotiate a price, or you can message me on my Instagram as well. Um, $3 and it ships. Um, after we just kind of talk about the price, I'll look up the comps on eBay and probably be pretty close to that or a little bit below since we do get to avoid fees. Made with love, Santa, it's a charm bell, it says barrel closure here, made with love, super cute. Okay, I saw this crown, and it looked sterling. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ooh, we just found some fire. Oh, my God. This is rare. Ooh, are y'all ready for this? It's not James Avery. It's better. Ooh-wee. That is awesome. I saw it from a mile away, but I was thinking, eh, it's probably not anything. It's Tiffany and Company, you guys. T and Co. 925. Wow, look at that. You know, it could be karma too, because I will tell you a quick story. It involves jewelry. I found a purse. It was just a Victoria's Secret purse at the Goodwill pound store the bins and i start getting a lot more purses so i can send them into thread up my referral links for thread up are located in my videos i'll go at it right after this video um okay so i'm looking in this purse and i'm like oh it's i'll probably just throw it back but let me check it lots of people say they find money in these purses um and so I noticed that the little zipper, it's just a little cross body about this big and it's Victoria's Secret silver. And I noticed that the zipper hadn't been opened yet. So I opened the little pocket and I noticed that it's a lady's 
birth certificate and I think your social security card or something, something like that. Um, so I take those items out of the purse and I know how to track people on Facebook or whatever. I used to work in medical billing and I used to track people down, not afraid to call out someone and be like, Hey, I totally just found your stuff. Do you want it back? So I took those items, but I looked in the same pocket and found a tiny little James Avery. Um, it was a martini glass. And I told my husband about it and he was like, just give him the charm, Heather. And I was like, okay, I will. Because it, the birth certificate ended up being a college girls who was literally graduating that week. They claim her mom's purse got stolen, whichever. It was her mom's purse, but the mom had the daughter's social security and birth certificate or whatever in her purse. Um, so I ended up giving the James Avery martini glass to the daughter to give back to her mom. Because when I showed her the martini glass, she was like, yep, that was my mom's purse. Um, so this is cool. Thank you very much, Goodwill. Totally worth it. I don't know the comps on this, but I'm pretty sure if James Avery is worth the comps roughly that were active was 100 for James Avery. I would think Tif Tiffany and Co. could match that any day. So um, let's see if I can get the engravings on for y'all. Not really, but it's not showing up now, is it? Let me see one more time. No, not really, but I'm trying at an angle a little bit. So it's all marked right in there. That's awesome. It almost doesn't even look real. It's got like some, you know, like it's real silver, but it's got that gold silver tint to it. Pretty freaking awesome, man. That's awesome. <sighs> cool. You'll email me. Thanks. It'd be nice if you can message people on PayPal, right? Um, this is a really cool little charm. It feels plasticky, but it could be some other, I don't know. It's like a little charm or something. I don't know. Extension. Reminds me of a cameo. Just like it. It's like got that wood feel, but it's not wood. It's like some kind of some kind of material, and I don't think it's plastic. It's a um, hibiscus. Yeah, hibiscus flower. That's cool. You guys got a Tiffany. So here's that other angel earring. I should really fish that out because I threw it in there, um, but I'll do that later. Oh, I just scratched my eye. Hang on. Cute little earring. Uh, it looks like a Ronald McDonald dress, but I don't know. Okay. Let's make sure this isn't like a Kendra Scott earring. And it is. Thank gosh I took off the back. So, yeah, the back does not match to it. Um, yeah. All right, you guys, we're not even done with the bag. Let's see what else we got here. This looks like candy on the back with Taiwan. Okay. It's the steampunk um, kind of stuff. <clears throat> Anywho, let's see here. Just some cheaper earrings. I'm going to pour out the bag. Text him. Okay, let's pour this out. 
Is it a ring or an earring? Um, oh, which one? Oh, the um, the craw the crown is a charm, like for a necklace or a bracelet. If that's what you're talking about. Okay. We got a wrap bracelet, um, just a silver, silver tone chain. Looks pretty nice, but I don't need it. Those are super vintage. E. Oh, look at that little seed bead ring. That's different. Got Jesus freak. Silver toned. I wanted to look at this. The earring is so crusty. It's so gross. So it's silver toned, I'm pretty sure. Pretty nice heavy bracelet. Oh, well, that's cool. That's a really old vintagey knife. I like it. I have to look this up. Really cool. Now this is cool too. Too bad it has no maker. Let's see. Fancy. I like it. It's heavy, you guys. It is Mars Mars Vutos. Oh, M Alexander M I don't know. I'll have to look that up. That's pretty fancy. Alright, back to the table. Here we go. And leather. Oh, okay, it's a leather wrap bracelet. Ooh, we got two of those. Cute. Something my mom would have worn back in the day, probably. Got glass beads. Oh, look at that. You guys, it's a bobby pin with a flower. That's super cool. Oh, snap. That's not another mood ring, is it? It's a cat ring. It says cat lady box. Whatever the heck that means. You see my mood ring? Ooh. These are the kind of earrings I have, but mine are more like metally. This one is too, but I have a bunch of these with a bunch of cool colors. Got a cross. You can make a necklace with. Um, I have no idea what that is. Looks like a little chair or something. Oh, crap. That's a dragon. That's weird. That is so cool. There's no maker's mark. I hate that. Oh, my gosh. What is this? It's not an Apple Watch or nothing. It's like a huge Fitbit watch. I don't know. Wonder how you charge it. With a port right there. I bet I have a charger for that. I'll look at this later. It looks really nice. It's totally not an Apple Watch, you guys. There's another blue. Maybe. Oh, that's cute. Really cute bracelet. Probably go in my garage sale. Got a Swiss Army knife. Uh, knife. Swiss Army watch. I'll look at that, but I don't think that's worth anything. It'll probably go in my garage sale. Wow, we got a pendant to go with those earrings. Oh, snap. Talk about knocking someone out. 
Oh, it doesn't fit. Sorry, my dogs are barking. Billy dancing jewelry. <laughs> okay, got a that. This is kind of the ones I was saying I have too. Okay, I can't handle this. That's wicked. It's red. A dark red. Class of 1976. We're about to fill up a medium flat rate box with junk jewelry. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. This is sterling. Nope. Nope, nope. I love 4-H. That is for farm animals, I do believe. Okay, this looks good. What's this? Good works. Some of these sell for okay. Um, good works. It's a wrap bracelet. I'll have to look up the comps on Poshmark and eBay for that one. Good works. That's a good find. We have another cameo or like with the hook. Um, so definitely if you're messaging me, Pat C. Crafty, just tell me if you wanted the gold one or like these silver ones. I'll have them here on my table. Um, aren't these cute? These hair clips. They're super cute. Oh, there's our sterling silver other earring. Is that the same one? Hold on. Oh, no. Yeah. Cool. We found the other match. Got two of them. Okay, that's a really heavy cross. But it's not worth anything. That's cool. I've had these before, but I wish I knew who made them or what. But sometimes I find this cool artsy pieces, and I don't know who made them. It's a bummer. So this one's like, oh, I just literally broke it. That's how flimsy it is, but this one is glass. This one's an earring, and I have not seen the other one. I'm so sorry. I broke it. You love the cameo. What the fox says. <laughs> it's a plastic earring. It almost looks like it. you could test it for the Bakelite, but I can tell it's really cheaply plastic. Again, I'm no pro, though. She had some Kendra Scott, like, tiny earrings, and she wanted, like... 30 bucks for them. I do not care for Kendra Scott. This is a Kendra Scott one. And it's all copper. Like, what a waste of money. Like, you get like a month's use out of your Kendra Scott necklace. And then, bam, it's all copper, silver, and gold. And it looks like trash. However, I don't know. We'll figure out. We'll look at the comps on those. So here's another cameo. What's going on with this one? We got an earring stuck. This is super pretty. What does all of this go to? All the hooks, you know? Like, so far we have three with the little clip-on hooks. So there's no maker's mark on this beauty. It's got a faux pearl. It's like a gray pearl. No maker's mark. There's no tarnishing or anything. Like, they never even used it, really. Just a little bit. I see one tiny copper spot up here. 
here it is, another clay earring, handmade baked earring. Such a cute little pewter flower. Look at that. I want that flower. It's on a really cheap chain. Didn't look like it goes together. Oh, look at that little apple. It's scratched up a little, but it's a pin brooch. I guess I'll keep the rubber band out. So these are paper beads. I thought I could sell these, but they're not selling very well. I'm a little disappointed. What do we got here? Oh, that's a fossil necklace there. Um, these are 925 little earrings that nobody wanted to pay 25 cents for. I don't really need those. But I wanted to look at this canvas. That is cute. Loving the little charm. Um, cute little stone. What's this? Isn't it fun, you guys? I love looking at this good stuff. We have a football charm. Football made in the USA, RCI. That and then faith, hope, and love. No maker's mark on that one. Really cute. And I hear the family here for lunch. That's cute a little tennis racket. Hello. Hello. Oh look, let's see. Kendra Scott earring. And then here's the match. Kendra Scott earring. I had a pair of the earrings and they totally tarnished once. Some more of that fool's gold looking there, huh? Pyrite. <laughs> That one's more silvery. Got an Avon earring, the match. Oh, cool. We got the other Kendra Scott earring match. All right, guys. I'm going to end this video so we can eat lunch. I honestly don't know if I'll go live again um for the other two jewelry bags but if i find anything really cool i'll go ahead and do a video like a small video of what i find in the rest of it and i guess that's a wrap if you have any questions feel free to dm me Thanks for hanging out. Have a good 4th of July, everybody. See you soon.